Well, when it's today's turn on the program, we like to put the spotlight on the farm women's group, Common Ground. Common Ground is a group of farm women who want to be a resource for consumers who want to know more about how their food is grown. Joining us now is Common Ground volunteer Paula Peterson from the Waverly area. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Yeah, good morning. We're mostly done with May already. Do you believe I that? I know. I can't believe that. It's going fast. How's everything in Waverly? Not bad. Busy, mm -hmm. busy. Today's Christian's last day of finals, so then we'll get him full time coming out and helping run fence in the morning. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're excited about that. Yeah. And we got cows out on pasture. We still have got some corn to get in the ground, but I'm not knocking rain. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we got some soybeans in, but we've got a long ways to go. Okay, so we want to talk more about turning cows and calves out to pasture. What does that mean for folks who may not know? Well, we've got, um, we're lucky enough to have pasture attached to our farm. A lot of the bigger farmers and ranchers, um, they actually take, well, travel their cows out west. We've got some friends that they've got them out by Callaway and that. Hmm. But we're, we've got bottom ground that really can't be used for anything else. It's perfect, happy house for cows. And so once the grass gets so tall and Tom fertilizes it, you know, to make sure we've got good growth and, and the cows can come up to the house for water. So we can just turn them out. They've got gr fresh grass and fresh water all the time. Um, but we have to hold it until the grass gets, because we want to make sure we're doing the best thing we can for the grass. And the bulls don't get to go out until middle of June. They mm. have to stay up in the yard. <laughs> so there is a lot of management I guess that goes with that, right? To kind of manage the pasture and make sure you're handling the, the ground correctly. Well, in the la last year and this year, um, we started something new where Tom is actually uh, dividing, we've, it's, a, it's like a 200 acre plus pasture and he divides it into sections and he's rotating the cows from each section. Mm -hmm. And so the grass gets a chance to grow um, in a little bit a more areas. Okay. And so we're able, we've done, done this rotational grazing last year and it worked pretty well. The cows are pretty good about telling him when they want to move. <laughs> 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 Sometimes before Tom wants them to move. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, and then he comes in and gotta go fix beds. <laughs> <laughs> Paula, why do you think it's so important for consumers to understand what you're doing here with pasture land? I, I think overall it's just important to know that we can't get more we can't make more land and so we have to be the best stewards as we can and in order to take care of our cows we have to make sure they have all the resources they need um, whether it's the grass the fertil or the uh, minerals and water we've got to make sure and that's what we do all day long um, we worry about making sure our cows and mm -hmm. if the cows don't have water in the pasture um, we're Water. Right now they have access because of the way they've got the pasture, they can come back up to the house. But once we get to the point where the rotational grazing puts them off, Tom will be hauling water to them again, mm -hmm. like we did last year. Because mm -hmm. our pastures do not have enough water in it yet for the ponds. Um, even though we've had all these rains, we're not quite there yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the rain has been good. Well, I'm not knocking the rain. Yeah. Yeah. I am not so knocking far. the rain. It <laughs> so can keep far. coming. It can yeah. keep coming. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you're sticking around. You have a recipe to share, right? I have a pineapple fluff recipe that Tom told me I could practice several times um, before I came. Ooh. And they <laughs> snuck some out yesterday him and Zach did before so that's good. a good sign I know <laughs> Jerry our previous guest he said I want that recipe yeah. so. all right Paula thanks, thanks. all right